Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Matt, or I'm Sports Talk, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on any of the Black Ops 4 content we have coming at you over the next week. It's going to be quite crazy. But today, to start it off, we have the Blood of the Dead shield tutorial for you guys. This one's pretty straightforward, but this shield is really important in this map. It allows you to do things like pack a punch and all kinds of other stuff, I'm sure, for the Easter egg as well. And you'll see why in just a second. So the first step here is to go over right from spawn down to this area right here where you're gonna need to turn on the power now believe it or not this is only the first power switch in the map there's actually two of them as far as I know and this is the first one you need to turn on the next thing you need to do is go over get yourself a gun because guess what you're gonna have to kill Brutus aka the warden and you guys know who Brutus is if you played this map before but once he comes in usually between round or five or seven you're gonna need to kill him and I'll say the ray gun is pretty good for killing him although the ray gun is trash for the rest of the map for whatever reason Treyarch decided to make our beloved ray gun absolute hot garbage in this map but anyway you want to kill Brutus and gather that key from him that's to get the key this time now the next step here is not necessarily uh, specific for this tutorial but I wanted to put it in here because for people that are new to the game playing for the first time especially playing black ops zombies for the first time uh, this is the thing called the catwalk as you can see in the upper left hand corner there this is kind of like a mad dash through a very tight corridor where the zombies are spawning in like crazy and their arms are shooting out of the walls trying to kill you. Be careful with this part because you can die pretty easily if you're not paying attention and you don't have the proper weapons to make it through there alive. I'd suggest going through here on an earlier round, but you can see right here, I actually go all the way down and I was playing on casual mode, which makes it even easier to get through that. So I will say that you should have a special weapon ready for that or some kind of high powered weapon so you can make your way through that. The next step here is to go over in China Alley and gather the actual metal shield card itself. Now, I believe this could spawn in different spots, but as far as I know from the games that I've played, I've only found it in that one spot. So that's where it will likely be. If it's not there, I apologize. I haven't gotten it to spawn anywhere else yet, so I can't physically know where else it is. And you can see right here, right in the same spot in Building 64, right inside, you're going to have this power switch, which is the second power switch. I don't believe that this is necessary to do in any specific order, but I do think you need to have this turned on in order to achieve our next step. I'll also note that Brutus does spawn in after you turn on that switch, I believe, so be prepared for that. Again, your special weapon is your best friend throughout every map, so have it handy when you need it. Then you're going to come over here to the cafeteria area, and I will say this. This is a random spawn. There's a little blue, uh aura essence it's basically the afterlife essence that is sitting on top of one of those afterlife boxes from mob of the dead this can spawn in on any of those afterlife boxes in the map so be aware that it's not going to always be in the same spot after you get that you go and pick it up and you are ready to build your shield you can now build the spectral shield on any of the three build stations i chose to build it here on top of the uh cell blocks and you can see cell block third floor. It's right outside the trolley, right outside the gondola. And you have now built your shield. I will say this, these shields are a lot different than previous games. You can do a couple different things with the shield. Obviously you can use it as a shield. You can obviously use it to hit and kill zombies and or dogs or other creatures in the map. The third thing you can do, as you can see right here, is you can use the key to actually shock and suck the souls out of zombies. You're going to need to charge up your shield using this soul key type mechanism to shock different parts around the map that open up different things, one of them being the Pack-A-Punch, which, if you guys aren't subscribed, I also have the tutorial on my channel right now. So go and check it out if you don't know how to do that yet. The last thing it does is you can actually plug it into your shield and basically power on your shield to have this spectral vision that shows you different things around the map. One of those things is the little blue skulls you'll need to collect with your Hell's Retriever in order to get a free blunder gap from the Warden's office. That tutorial is also on my channel, so go and check it out. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys all in the next one. Take it away, Rick Toffin. Fly with the Hawks! You begin, then you subscribe!